Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, lots of you email me about you have uh, L1800 and uh, the printer seems to doing okay. It can start and it can do cleaning. However, when you print, you get like, completely blank pages. Uh, there normally there are two problems. One is the fuse to the print that is burned. Another one is you get a problem with the driver chip. Either the whole chip is malfunction, or maybe the chip doesn't get a boost enough signal to the printer to print. Again, you will not have any errors. The printer seems seems to be working, and uh, when you do cleaning, you can see ink is coming out of the the waste tube. So here I'm going to take the control panel off because most of you have the modified 1800. So I'll just skip how you disassemble the alt casing for the L1800. If you're interested, the same procedure as you have for Artisan 1430. I'm gonna put a uncasing Artisan uh, 1430 on the top so you can click if you need uh, to see how, how it's done. Now we got the top case removed, and then we're going to turn to the back of the printer. Then in the back, I'll show you how to remove the main board without taking off the duplexer. We need to release this big tab right here. And just put your finger there and just pull it towards you, and that can be loosened. Now we switch to the, to the other side and uh, remove the wires here first. And pull off the tab on the left side. Pick the rightmost hole and just use your screwdriver, push towards your left. And the whole panel will come off. And I'll give that a help on the left and the thing should be come off. Okay, now with a new exposed, take the first screw from the left, and then there's a, a one row of screw. On the same row, there's a one screw on the high sink, it's sideways on the right, and beneath it, there's one more screw hiding there. That probably is the last screw you're gonna miss. It's on the right side, so on the right side, you have two screws. And then I'm going to remove all the FFC cables and the wirings. I have another video show you how to remove and install the wirings. So I'll put on the left, the left upper hand as a link. So if you need to refresh those, just go there, take a look. And now hold your breath and you're going to witness miracle. There you go. On the left is the power supply and there are four screws secured the main board to the case. The main board looks good and it smells good. So my plan is first test the F1 fuse. And uh, if the F1 is blown, normally the other parts are okay. If F1 is good, then I'll, I'll test the driver chip. And this board has a huge F1 uh, fuse, so make it easier to test. No beep and no beep. It is bad. I don't believe it. And uh, try again. Yeah, it is bad. Last time, F1 fuse is tiny, small, and sandwiched between other components. It's not that this easy. But unfortunately, today's problem is that this F1 fuse, so you won't have the opportunity to see me diagnosis and repair the driver chip or the logic chip. And the replacement chip is a little bit different than the original chip, and but functional, they are the same. If you need a fuse, you can go to bchtechnology.com and here we have all the small parts. For example, that little spring that you're going to lose when you disassemble the waste station for L1800. <laughs> yeah, you did that, right? And so you can go search F1. And uh, you can see the F1, F1, two fields for Epson 1800 DTG. And also, if you don't want to do it yourself because you need all the equipment and your time, 
and uh, probably get a stack of it. You just want somebody to do it for you. And you go to print and repair service. And we have a fast track, which you spend some dollar. And not only we diagnose the board and repair it, we also have a live printer. We put it on and make sure it prints nicely before we send back to you. So this is not only the replace the iPhone fuse. This is diagnosing the whole board and make sure it's working. OK, smells good. So we're going to put this board inside the printer and uh, put everything together and uh, do a test. Oh, it looks we have some colors coming out. Hello, mortals. Your printer is saved. Kevin's YouTube channel is the answer to your prayers. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.